So with taking a driven shot, first thing you need to do is line up. Just take about five steps back, and then somewhere around two or three steps to the side, you want to just run in regular, get your foot planted in a little bit wider than usual, and pretty much usually the wider you plant your foot, the lower the shot's going to go. Have your kicking leg pulled back and just move down on the ball. Usually you want to have your plant foot next to the ball or a little bit in front of the ball. Just come down, strike the ball right under the middle, right here. You should have your foot locked completely out like so and try to have it tilted up more than usual and strike it with this part of the foot right here. If you just try to hit it with all out power, it usually doesn't go as well as if you just take a little bit off and still keep as much power as you can without just hitting it with all your strength. And some important things to remember are don't lean out on the shot. You need to get completely over the ball, unlike in the knuckle shot or the curving shot. Just be completely over the ball. Get your chest over the ball. And with the follow through, you just follow straight through the ball. And some people like to over exaggerate it, but I just let my follow through go through and then just stop because I can control my shot way better when I do that. Here are some slow motion examples. As you can see with some of these slow motion examples, the distance my foot is planted away from the ball and the knee bend and the stopping the follow through are two ways that I can control the height of the ball when I'm shooting it. Focus on the exact points of contact on the ball, where my foot hits it,